are you ready? Shall we start? Wonderful. So if you're sitting comfortably and if you're sitting on a chair, you can uncross your legs and just get cozy in the chair. And if you're lying on your bed, you can relax your whole body and feel your body long on the bed. And if you've got the covers over you, feel the covers on your body. And if you're lying on the floor or on the sofa, just relax and feel really cozy. And just allow your whole system, your whole body, your whole mind, your nervous system to just ah, feel safe and feel okay and feel calm because everything in this moment is good. Everything is okay. Right at this moment, you are safe, you are okay, you're home and you're warm and you have everything you need. Wonderful. So let's start. Close your eyes, be very still and imagine you are walking along the yellow brick road on the way to visit the wonderful Wizard of Oz. You have a question in mind that you would like to ask the wizard and the wizard will have an answer. Have a think of what question you would like to ask the great and powerful Wizard of Oz. Keep walking along the road made of beautiful yellow bricks. They are speckled with gold dust. Sometimes the yellow brick road becomes wide and sometimes it becomes very narrow. Sometimes it goes over a bridge with a stream flowing under it. Just stop for a while and watch the stream flowing. Sometimes the yellow brick road winds through fields of the brightest poppies you have ever seen. So stop for a while and look at the beautiful field of poppies. In fact, you decide to take a little rest here and sit in the field of poppies. Lie down and look up at the clouds and you feel really relaxed and really, really calm as you look up at the clouds. Watch the clouds going past up in the sky. Wonderful. And then when you're ready, start to take that yellow brick road again and follow, follow, follow the yellow brick road. And where will it lead? It will lead to the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Finally, you reach the magical Emerald City. The wizard's palace is covered in tiny emeralds and is sparkling in the sunshine. It looks so beautiful. Can you see it? Can you see the wizard's palace sparkling in the sunshine? Ring the doorbell and ask to see the Wizard of Oz. The door opens and you go through the shimmering green door and follow the thick green carpet into a huge green room. You hear a voice. I am the great and wonderful Wizard of Oz. What is your question? You stand there and you think. You think about your question. And you ask your question. Ask your question 
and just be very silent and very still and quiet and listen for an answer. Can you hear the answer? Listen carefully. This wizard is always right and he knows just the answer to every question that you may have in your heart. So you just have to stay very still and listen to the wizard's answer. Maybe he shows you something on his magic screen. Can you see the magic screen in front of you? So open your eyes and look at the magic screen and see if he is showing you the answer on a magic screen. Or maybe the wizard just says one word and you absolutely know the answer to your question. Or maybe the wizard holds, it passes you an object and the object will tell you the answer to your question. How is the wizard answering your question? On the screen? With an object? Or with one word? And if it's not coming yet, ask your question again. Again and again and again. And stay very still. Listen and watch as the answers come. And if the answer doesn't come straight away, the answer may come in your dreams or may come tomorrow at a strange moment. All of a sudden, someone will say something and you'll go, ah, that's the answer to my question. The wizard knows the answer. And so now when you're ready, walk back through the door, through over the green carpet and through the huge door to the Emerald Castle and walk back down the yellow brick road, through the poppy field, over the bridge, through the wide bit of road and the small bit of road and the wide bit of road, and the winding bit of road, until you find yourself back in the room. And when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes, have a big stretch, and open your eyes. Very good. Now, did you have your question answered? Can you write down your question? See if you can write down your question quickly. Just before I go, let me see what questions you asked the wizard. And hopefully they'll come on my screen just below. I'm looking, I'm looking. I can't see any questions yet. So hopefully somebody will write a question. Are you there? Is anyone, uh, and did the wizard answer your question? Let's have a thumbs up if the wizard answered your question. Thumbs up if he answered your question. Are unicorns real? Fantastic. That's a good question. What did the wizard say? Did he show you a picture of a, picture of a unicorn on the big screen? Did you go flying on the unicorn in your imagination? Mmm. Let's see, uh, did you have any other questions for the wizard? What did you ask the wizard? And don't forget, you can go back to the wizard and you can ask a question whenever you like. So you know that you can do that anytime. Just go back and ask a question. Amelie, you didn't find out. Oh, okay, maybe it will. Maybe you'll fly on a unicorn in your dreams tonight. And Dylan asked, how are colours made? Wow, that is a really good question, Dylan. Did 
the wizard have the answer to the question? Did he have an answer? You may even need to check with the wizard Google and see if the wizard Google has the answer to that question. Let's see. <laughs> Fantastic. Brilliant. And so I'll just see if there, are, if there are any more questions. One more question before I go. One more question. Because I think it's bedtime for everyone. So are you ready for bed? Let's have a thumbs up if you're ready for bed after a very busy day. A very busy, is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? I'm really not sure. <laughs> but whatever, or is it a Thursday? I hope it's a Friday. <laughs> very good. So I'm going to go now. So have beautiful, magical, imag imaginative, colourful dreams with lots of unicorns and colours and beautiful pictures in your dream. And see if you can go back and ask the wizard another question. So bye for now, until I see you the next time, I'll say goodbye and sweet dreams, have wonderful dreams. Good night.